What's going on YouTube? It's me, Dreamliner Fan 2016 here, and today everybody, we have a brand new video for an upcoming, or in this case, a brand new content series for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and this is something I have never done before, and like I said, this is my very first time doing so, and hopefully this all goes well. So, yeah, that's what I'm planning on this video to be, but yeah. So, without being said, let's dive into it. So, this new content that I'm currently working on is mold comparisons. Now, I do see some like YouTube videos of these mold comparisons, and it's just pretty simple and what it says. You just compare like the models for many different manufacturers, whether it be Phoenix models, Aero Classics, Gemini Jets, or NG models. So, I decided to join in and to start this off, we're going to be comparing two Boeing 787-10s from Phoenix models and NG models. So as you can see here, I have a KLM 787-10 right here. This is made by Phoenix and my United 787-10 by NG models. So I'm going to be comparing these aircraft and I'll put you, I'll give you guys like a list you're gonna see right now and this is basically how I'm gonna be like setting up these comparison videos so yeah um, like I said something I never done before but hopefully this works and yeah without being said let's begin with the first topic alrighty so the first topic we're gonna be discussing is the boxes so Phoenix and NG models are pretty much known to have these very nice box designs and I don't want to compare these two boxes, so I will know which one does, which one has like a better design, basically. So let's start off with the Phoenix one first. So let me take this NG models aside and bring you the Phoenix models first. So as you can see here, this is the Phoenix models box of the Boeing 787-10. You got the Boeing 787-10 tiles right here the CGI printed aircraft right here. This is a KLM Boeing 787-10 painted in its 100th anniversary sticker right here. And you got the KLM logo right there. 1400 scale platinum series. And yeah, they some of these Phoenix models have like these platinum series. And here's your aircraft's registration. The, this registration is Papa Hotel Bravo Kilo Alpha. And you got like this very nice box design. It's some kind of like, I don't know what this is, but I would say this is actually a pretty nice design. Now I did this KLM 787-10. I got this all the way back in October 16, 2019. And this was like a couple of weeks after KLM celebrated the 100th anniversary at that same year. So yeah. Here's the box design, which is like a simple blue background with the aircraft right there. There's your Phoenix logo right there, Boeing 787-10. Uh, here's the other side with all the warnings right here. Same goes for like the bottom. And this side, this side, this side over here, it's, you also got your Phoenix logo right there. And you also got the heart of aviation, true to scale collectible. Super detail graphics, realistic featured antennas, and rollable wheels with metal landing gears. And here's the back, which is a limited edition. Actually, for, from what I said on my massive unboxing one, and how I said that my ANA 787-9, I said that this was that was my first limited edition, which I never had before. But apparently, I was wrong. This was actually my first limited edition aircraft from Phoenix. So as you can see here, you got limited edition right here. You got, or you also got this very nice background design, which it looks pretty cool. Like I said, you got like the KLM 100th anniversary logo right there back in 2019. And here's the Boeing, lo Boeing license right here. And yeah, produce under license Boeing and 787. Yeah. Now if I can, oh, here's the item number. The item number for this one is 11551. And yeah. So I think the like 
I mean, I would say like the Phoenix box looks pretty nice right here. So yeah, now let's move on to the NG Models box. And here it is. This is the Boeing 787-10 United Airlines right here. And I gotta say, NG Models are really known for like their amazing box designs. And this is actually one of them. So as you can see here, you got Boeing 787-10 right here. They added Dreamliner this time as compared to Phoenix. There's your computer generated picture of the aircraft right here. You got a variety of United logos around this beautiful globe design, which I would say, this is absolutely beautiful. And you got United Airlines right there, AG Miles logo right there, and there's your aircraft registration. This is November 12010, 1400 scales, collectible model, die cast model. And there's your tiny Boeing license sticker right there. Moving on to the sides, you got your pretty much the same thing, your, your computer generated aircraft registration. The 787-10 NG Miles logo right here. This side just says United. Uh, this this is pretty much the same as the other side. So yeah, pretty much like the sides are pretty much the same. And the back is also pretty much the same as well. Except there's like their social, social media pages. And all your warning hazards. And the item number for this. For this model is 56003. So yeah, that is the NG Models box right there. Now, which box has more better design? Well, I mean like Phoenix Models is good, but I think NG Models is pretty much more better. Cause like you got all, all these amazing details of like the globe, the United titles. Many of the, and like I said, many of NG's boxes have a very cool design for their model aircraft. And Phoenix, Phoenix does too, but I think NG Models is much more better at that. So yeah, I would say NG Models has a better box design than Phoenix, I would say. And of course, this is my, this is my personal opinion. Anybody can have their, have different opinions, but I think, like I said, this this the ng models box is pretty much better in this case so with that with that being done let's move on to topic number two and here we are with topic number two and this is gonna be the models itself now in topic number two i'm gonna split up into three categories the categories are gonna be the front the middle which is gonna be mostly the wings and the back, which is mostly the horizontal stabilizer and the tail. So, we got two of my models right here. And with that being said, let's begin with the very front of the aircraft right here, which is gonna be the nose part, nose section. Now let me just make sure I try to like zoom. Alrighty, so now that I got my camera position on where it's clear and it can pretty much see the models, let's begin with a comparison. All right, so right off the bat, I can pretty much tell that the Phoenix one, the nose of the aircraft, or the cockpit in this case, sits a little bit higher than the NG one. See? And I pretty much think that the NG's main landing, nose landing gear is a lot smaller compared to Phoenix. I mean, like, NG is pretty much known for trying to become realistic. See? Uh, cockpit windows. Uh, I think for the Phoenix model, there's some kind of, like, border for each cockpit window which I think that's like pretty cool look interesting looking but for NG there is no like any border or whatsoever uh, let's see what else? Uh, you got like the outline of the nose cone with what opens up um, now let's see for the Phoenix I have to come up with this um, I think for the Phoenix one let me see if it has like of details but for the ng1 there's like st static ports and like pitot tubes that are there also like the the ng1 also has these like windshield wipers so like there's a lot more detail in the front uh, as for the phoenix i mean there is as there is some detail as well but yeah there is there's some static ports and pitot tubes right here so 
Yeah, it's just because of the, like the blue, the blue color. It's really kind. Of, it's pretty much like it's kind of like hard to see. But yeah, there there's also pitot tubes and static ports on the Phoenix mold as well, which I would say both of these companies did a very good job job on replicating those. Anyways, you got your L1 door right here. Now, like the the Phoenix one has a rather different design compared to NG's, which I can. Well, uh, I can clearly say since I can clearly say since both companies are different, different. But yeah, and you got your like windows right here. This is the KLM 100 logo right here on the very front, and your United Tiles right there, which they, which the windows do overlap on, on like the titles, which, which looks pretty nice I gotta say. And panning over right here, you got your. Let me move a little closer. You got your L2, two, L2 door right there, L2 boarding door. Both same, both same on each aircraft and the same different design. You got your static ports, or not sat, not static ports. What? Uh, antennas. Yeah, antennas. So there, those are your, there's are those are your antennas right there, and then there's your SATCOM dome. They both have the SATCOM domes on each side. So. Yeah, there's there's one, there's one. Both in this, both are in the same position, so that's very unique. Now we move on to like the middle part of the section, which is the wings. Now, as you can see here, for let me take let me take out this Phoenix one and show you the NG first. Now, as you can see here, the wings on the NG one look pretty realistic since they're pretty pretty much leveled to like its ground configuration as you can see here so when I like put this aircraft like that you can pretty much see that the wing is pretty much straight just like its real life counterpart and there is the and here is the engine which I would say I think that they're also pretty good too I mean it's kind of like hard to see on my camera but they are pretty the, the engines are designed really good, I gotta say. So yeah, it's a. I don't know how clear, clear as it gets with my camera right here. I'm recording this on an iPhone, by the way. But yeah, pretty much the the engines are really well designed. And here's your top view. Uh, I mean, like, there's not a lot of detail seen here, just like it's real life seven, just like the real life aircraft. Yeah. You also got like this metal part, the slats, the flap, the flaps are, are also nice too. Yeah. Now let's look at the Phoenix one. Now as you can see with the Phoenix, Phoenix is a lot more different. As you can pretty much tell, there is some wing flex that I'm seeing right now. So if I could just like try to hold it from the fuselage, I mean like, I don't want to end, end up losing a wing with this thing. but. As you can see, uh, the there is wing flex, but yeah, as I run this down, you can pretty much see that it does go up. Now I don't know how this happened with mine, but it just came like that. But there's like a a little dent on this this portion, like the very tip of this wing, which kind of makes it look like a little winglet. Which I would say I don't know how did that happen, but yeah, I mean honestly. Phoenix's wing flex isn't as bad as what Gemini has on their older 787 mold, not the JC wings one. Also, comparing with these two wings, I think the Phoenix one is just a little bit thicker, I would say. And there's a lot more of these like, there's a lot more of like the gray parts on the slats right there as you can see. Again, it's kind of like similar to NG's but I mean, I don't know if it's clear on my camera, but a little bit the same. There's a lot more reflectance of gray. Uh, show, as you can, and going for the side of the wings right here. Yeah. And here is the engine of the aircraft. Now, Phoenix's engine. I mean, like it. It's also nice as well. But once again, I think NG has a more better, better design. And it's still the fan blades are also like clear, like yeah. So 
a little bit similar to NG's version right here. And yeah, I mean, the, the only main difference is that little wing flex it, it has. So if I can like place this in the, put both of them on the ground and probably like show you uh, up close on my camera. Here, hang on, let me put the Phoenix on the other side. Yeah, there's like a little bit of wing flex for the Phoenix. I mean, I don't actually, actually, no. So basically, the there there's wing, I mean, there's wing flex on the Phoenix. However, it managed to like stay close to like its ground configuration. So basically, what I mean is like the tips of the wings are still leveled with the NG one, which I would say this is kind of like saying that the the Phoenix one has the aircraft in its ground configuration. Anyways, that, that's it for the middle section. Let's move on to the very back of the aircraft. The tail part, the horizontal stabilizers. Now, as you can see here, now let me just like zoom zoom out real quick. Here's your L3 doors. Not, not gonna go much over it with these, these two the doors. They're pretty much like the same. And there's your other two Wi-Fi, uh, other two antennas right here, and there's your tail, which apparently the NG models does, the NG models does seem to sit a little higher, is what I can point you guys right here. Now mainly because like, I think this is, I would say this is NG's first 787-10 mold they had, I don't know, but apparently it feels like the aircraft is kind of like, a little bit angled to like somewhere right here which i i don't know if this should be realistic because like the nose landing gear of the 787-10 from ng is a little bit lower so that's why i think it's like that it doesn't matter i mean like it should, still represents a very good model nevertheless so yeah there's your apus which i would say like the apu on the ng one is a lot darker as for the tail design most of them are actually good. I mean, like you, you, the KLM tail one is visible since you can the lines are very visible on the Phoenix one. United is kind of, because it's dark, dark blue. It's kind of like hard to see, but there is some detail with the lines right there. Now, as as I noticed from Phoenix models, their horizontal stabilizers are pretty much straight, not vertical, vertical, unlike it's real life counterpart but as you can see right there the horizontal stabilizers are completely the, the exact same angle so it really makes it, the, them look straight which I would say this isn't realistic at all and here's the NG one as I pull up my NG models right here you can pretty much see that oh, you can yeah, you can pretty much see that the horizontal stabilizers are angled. Pretty much identical to like its real life counterpart right here. And yeah. So, of course. And let me show you the horizontal stabilizer detail right here. And so here it is. It got like these small little dots right there showing that, representing the local light. And there's some like gray, gray at the very front. Some lines right there and here is my Phoenix one now Phoenix Phoenix is kind of like similar I would say you still got your logo logo lights right here and pull up my pencil again yeah here they are the gray which I would say still looks good nevertheless some line detail over there and yeah so that's it for topic number two now we move on to like the final topic, which is topic number three. And for topic number three, I'm gonna be discussing the different perspectives, the top, the bottom. Yeah, so basically what I mean is like topic number three discusses the very top of the aircraft and the bottom of the aircraft. So with that being said, let's jump into topic number three. Alrighty, so we begin topic number three with the top and bottom proportions of each aircraft. So, basically what it means is I show you the very top of the aircraft and 
give its full detail and same goes for the bottom. So we begin with the Phoenix one. Also for topic number three, I forgot to say this on my last video, but I'm also going to show you the additional features as well. So here's the very top of the Phoenix mold. As you can see here, there is some, there isn't like very full detail going on here. Of course, you got your Wi-Fi slash SATCOM dome right here, your antennas right there, this thing, whatever that is. And how about this? There's some kind of like 3D, like a, this is supposed to be the beacon light, which they did add it, which looks pretty nice. And here's another, another one of those domes. So yeah, you have, of course you got your wings right there and your horizontal stables right, stabilizers right there. And let's move on to the very bottom of the aircraft, which you got your beacon light right there. This is in 3D and you got some other details at the very bottom. This red antenna though, how about that? There is a, for the bottom antenna is painted red, which is pretty nice. Now, as you can see, like there's some, there's the nose gear, the main landing gear door right there, your stand hole over there in case you want to like display this one front of model. And here's your backside, which I would say, is this like supposed to be dealing with, this is supposed, I think this is where the APU generator is, if that's what I think. But yeah, it's kind of like a little bit plain, like too plain in the fuselage. Like there's a little bit of detail, which I can see. And there's your engine right there with all like the details in that. And since this is like an international carrier, your re the registration of the aircraft is on the wing. It's, so in this case, this is Papa Hotel Bravo Kilo Alpha, as I said when I was reviewing the box. And yeah, there's, your, there's also your nose gear door right there. Now we move on to the NG version. Right, so let me pull up this NG right here. Pretty much the same. There is no like, there is supposed to, there's no like 3D beacon light there, there however. But you got your SATCOM box, your antennas right there. Pretty much what you see on, similar to like the Phoenix one, so yeah. Oh yeah, there's also like the, this white thing. I mean like, it's kind of like hard to see on my camera, but this is some kind of like dome. Now let's pull up to the very bottom, which is we have the very under on the underbelly and of course similar this is kind of like a little similar to eng to like the phoenix one but you got your like beacon light your stand hold the bottom antenna which apparently isn't painted red which is i don't know why why it wasn't painted red i mean like some of their engine model planes they do paint their antennas red but for this one this is not so i don't know i don't know i mean I think it depends on the aircraft since like NG wants to make sure that the aircraft is realistic. And here's the very front of the nose gear right here. Nose gear door right there. It says 787-10 on the, over there. And how about this? This is actually cool. This red thing, if you're seeing that right now, that's actually the door for the rat turbine. So in this case, the aircraft goes is in like an emergency landing. If it lost all engines, then the rat turbine is very useful. And of course, you got your your door right there where the APU generator is. Uh, some detail with the engines right here. Now, of course, since this is an American registered plane, there's no registration at the very bottom of the wing. Now, for the additional features, actually. Let me see the engine. Yeah, pretty much the engine says so you can see these metal gray things at the at the engines. The, the NG1 is a lot more brighter and it does seem a little more realistic as compared to like the Phoenix. I think Phoenix is kind of like a little bit thinner compared to like the NG1. But yeah, now we get into like the additional features of this aircraft. So beginning with the Phoenix models right here. Let me just like position my camera somewhere. Let's see, there we go. All right, so for the Phoenix model, they both both NGs and Phoenix do roll. However, the rolling style for both of these models are quite different 
So we begin with the Phoenix models first. Now, as I roll this down, this Mac, as you can pretty much see, there's, it's kind of like scratch. There's kind of like a little bit, a bit of scratch, but it does roll. It does roll nice. And as you, let's see at the bottom. Oh, so like the landing gear on the Phoenix model one is made out of metal. As I can feel it right there. Actually, is this actually made out of metal? It kind of feels like it's actually made out of metal. But yeah. That's what I think it is. Like maybe it's like made out of metal, I believe. As for the NG one, it does roll more firmly compared to Phoenix. Which I would say, this, is, this looks nice. Now as we look at the very bottom, I think this one is made out of rubber. I think the NG one is kind of like made out of rubber, I believe. Yeah, let me show you another test one and just how firmly it rolls. Or let me show both. So yeah, both of them roll firmly and that's what I like about them. But I think NG, since, since their wheels or tires are made out of rubber, it does move more nicely or along the mat mat so yeah those are the two additional features for this air for these two aircraft so yeah i guess that concludes for both of these and yeah let's give my final thoughts and overall pick which air which model manufacturer produces these two aircraft so yeah let's do that Alrighty, so that would do for this mold comparison video. Now, if I can decide which model manufacturer produces these two models, hmm, which one produces better? And honestly, I, I mean, both models are okay at least, but I would say that NG Models does a more better job on their Boeing 787-10 mold because like it kind of like gives gives off a very great realism to the aircraft itself. I mean, Phoenix models is also good, but I mean, like there's a there's that wing flex, that small little wing flex of the plane, and yeah, the straight horizontal stabilizers. That's the only thing that I noticed for the Phoenix model. While well, as for NG1, um it is like slanted a little bit it's like angled a little downwards but it, it's not overall that bad i think ng models is still better at making this aircraft so yeah i mean like opinions is it, it is my opinion like i said so i'm not saying that ng is way better than phoenix both of these models produce very great 787-10 molds and yeah that's all I have to say, which I was, I was saying, nothing has been like, I mean, nothing has, <laughs> I can't talk today. Which I gotta say, both models are like good and all, but like I said, NG still tops it off. But Phoenix is around that level of NG at most. Not too close to like neck and neck with NG, but a little bit lower to NG models. So yeah, I would say that I would have that would do for this video, I gotta say. Hopefully I can do more mold comparisons when I get more models in the near future. And overall, what do you guys think of it? Like how did I do with my first ever mold comparison video? Is there anything that I need to change? Is there something that I wanted to add? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So without being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and su subscribe to my YouTube channel. And turn on that notification bell so you won't miss a new video anytime soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. And yeah, thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.